Hey, what's up? I'm Ayla, and here are 10 questions that you wanted to ask me. And this is Bianca. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> Question number one, are you still filming? No, I'm not filming anymore. The last time I shot was probably... Probably like... July. The last time I flew to LA was in July, but I canceled all my shoots because I was seeing someone. But no, I have not come back since. I do have plans to start on only plans uh, in the future, so maybe you will get new content on me, who knows. I'm not really in a rush to put anything out. <laughs> okay, question number two. Why did I start porn? Well, when the idea first popped in my head, I was 18. I dropped out of college and I did not have a job. I was living with an ex-boyfriend and I really had this urge to just go do something and have fun and I wanted money fast and I had been posting on reddit for a few months anonymously. People seem to like me and my body so I thought that it might be a good idea. Also it had always been in the back of my mind and something I'd been interested in before. Don't know why uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, the, the short answer to that is money, freedom, clothes, good sex, and rebellion and defying everything that was going on around me. And self sex a little, a, a little bit of self-sabotage. <laughs> Question number three. What are your long-term goals? Oh. <laughs> um, I don't really like this question because my mind is constantly changing and I don't really know what I want to do with my life but but I think the longest goal you've ever had is to get a van and just road trip like drive around I yeah. see myself something where I'm not tied down something where I have freedom to just float something where people don't have to rely on me for anything <laughs> freedom is very important to me <laughs> Coming in. This is what you wanted from the start for us to sit on the little floor floor. Yeah. What are my long term goals? My long term goals are to have a farm, have a family, have lots and lots of cows and cash. And I want to be happy. I want, I want to be self sustainable and I want to have community around me. I want Bianca to come with me. We're gonna have a commune. We're, we're totally and gonna have only. like a commune, yeah. Catch us <laughs> there, we'll have good milk. <laughs> uh, what else will be on our commune? Holy vibes. Holy vibes. Peace. Everyone, Love. I mean, not everyone is welcome. But most, most are welcome. Holy vibes. If you have holy vibes, you're welcome. Uh, what are what are my other long term goals? I want to learn another language. I currently have been practicing Russian, um, which might be useful if I want to be like a spy or something. I don't know why Russian, but it's the hardest language, and a girl likes a challenge. It's exciting to me. Mm -hmm. Question number four. Oh. Okay. What do your friends and family think of your career? 
That is a great question. Well, I don't really have a lot of friends. <laughs> and my family took it pretty well. I mean, they found out before I even started. They were pretty open with everyone about it. Well, I didn't want to tell my family when I started. I didn't even want to tell you. You should not want to tell me. My ex-boyfriend was the one to ring the bell on everything that was going on. And my parents came to me and were like, hey girl, what are you doing? And I was like, I need to do this. I want to, I need to be on my own. I need to go get this money. <laughs> And they were like, okay. They were really concerned about my safety. They didn't know that it, if it was legit or not. But in my first weeks going out to LA, I had stuff set up with like Penthouse and Hustler and stuff like that that I could kind of show my mom. And she was like a lit. I don't, I, she definitely wasn't cool with it. But when I got out there and she saw it was legit, she, she was, um, my mom is supportive. She wants me to be happy and healthy. And I was, so they were cool. And my friends, I honestly made more friends. A lot of people from high school started coming out and I was like, wait, I thought these people hated me. <laughs> but people were like really supportive, which was- Very supportive. The last thing that I was expecting. Cause again, I was trying to self-sabotage. How'd that work out for you? It didn't really work out. I just became wildly successful. <laughs> okay. Next. Okay. Question number five. How, how has your career impacted finding a partner? Mm -hmm. Well, I would say when I first started, I had just gotten out of a relationship and I had no interest in looking for another partner. And when I was in LA, I really didn't date outside of the, in or in the industry at all. I didn't really, I wasn't really like, there was like one, there was like one guy in LA that I messed around with, but we both were focused on our lives and our careers and what were what was going on around us and um, it didn't really cross my mind until <laughs> I I kind of got sick of I I just you know I had my fun in the industry I left I came to New York and then I started doing this back and forth thing and that's when I started like moving back into regular life and then I kind of started dating people again and I started seeing like some boys and they were cool with it and I was trying to prove that I was like some like holy little innocent what you are you know I can be a good girl <laughs> if I want to was my belly <laughs> it definitely I think I would say that it prevented me from dating some shitty not shitty it questionable <laughs> Jesus your stomach <laughs> it definitely saved me from some questionable relationships because if someone can't take all of me then Maybe you're not gonna be able you. to take any of me mm -hmm. but Currently, I am in a relationship with with this very sweet boy. If you're watching this, I love you. <laughs> um, I'm currently dating sweet boy Mason, and I love him with all my heart. And he accepts me for all of me. And we've been good friends for a while, so that's also a difference. It's not just like some dude I met swapping on the streets <laughs> <laughs> but also i've had enough of like hug of culture like i've i've had enough i've had enough of that i've already settled down you have a farm I have a farm i have some babies i don't know <laughs> <laughs> number six 
Does size matter? I think that like society teaches us to like look for size, but that's just not the case. It's all about, I would say chemistry and some people just fit in you like a perfect little puzzle piece. <laughs> not little. <laughs> <laughs> not little <laughs> perfect puzzle piece i feel like we say little because it's a cute word yeah perfect little puzzle piece perfect big puzzle piece <laughs> just a, the right size puzzle piece yeah like some people can have the biggest puzzle piece and it just doesn't feel right and some people do have the smallest puzzle piece and it feels horrible but that's why you have a tongue. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that one. <laughs> um, you just gotta work with what you got. Like it really, size doesn't matter. It's just like, that what, what size do you can do has, with it? Size has never done anything for me. It's, I've, Because Tea. your whisper doesn't mean it's not going on the internet. Um, also, I didn't have my first O with a man until I left the industry. Which is crazy. It's... For me, it was... Some people, some people have different experiences, but for me, it was just a... Woo! Crazy ride for fun. Yeah, for fun. Number seven. Number seven. What's my sexuality? I would consider myself bisexual, um, even though I've never dated a woman. There was this one girl in seventh grade that caused my sexual awakening. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious. You know who you are. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that you're watching this. But I love women. I I thought I was a lesbian several times in my life. Doc still does. Sometimes, yeah. Maybe I will be one day. Who knows? <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd say that I um, am or queer. I don't know. I'll I'll have anything. You don't have to check a box if you don't want to. Yeah. I don't really want a label. I, I rip those off. Actually, I like I like queer. Queer is a good label for me. I don't want a label. Take it back. <laughs> queer. Okay. Number eight. Damn, girl. Stop. Mm -hmm. Number we eight. ate a lot of enchilada. <laughs> enchilada Nacho. will do it to ya. <laughs> Number eight, have I ever caught feelings for a co-star? No. I d <laughs> Not no like that. There was like one person that I worked with over and over again who I would say I would be excited to come work with. No. There was no one i mean i definitely had a lot of crushes i would say that while filming i was extremely emotionally unavailable and just horny and i don't think anyone was trying to get at me i mean i was i was kind of sad i was like i would be down to like find a industry lover and no that's a lie <laughs> I wasn't looking for that's love. That's not your vibe. <laughs> that's not my, that wasn't my vibe. Mm -mm. No, I didn't, but there was one special person in my heart. <laughs> I don't know if y'all would be able to guess. Okay, number nine. Did you ever go to school or have a real job? Uh, kinda. I kind of did. When I graduated in 2018 from high school, I went to ACC, Austin Community College, but dropped out. School was just not for me. I gave up on homework in eighth grade. 
<laughs> and barely graduated high school. I didn't, I, I don't, I don't think I, I don't know what I did. Okay, basically what I'm saying is school was not for me. Jobs. Mm. I've had a lot of jobs. My first job, I worked at Hula Hut as a hostess. My second job, I worked at... Where was my second job? My second job was at Maddie's. These were all in Austin. My third job was at Amy's Ice Cream. My fourth job was at Chipotle, but I never showed up. My fifth job was at Hat Creek. My sixth job was at Free Birds. Damn! And my seventh and final job was at Home Slice Pizza. No, you missed one. What? Thundercloud subs. Oh, and I worked at Thundercloud. <laughs> I got I got all of the local essentials. I hit all of them. That's a lot of restaurants. I'm just like I'm socially awkward and anxious and in work settings, I just felt so uncomfortable and never knew like how to interact with customers. And I just always felt like I was doing everything wrong and that I was stupid, even though I wasn't. I just like could never get comfortable, probably because I never stayed <laughs> long enough. <laughs> I think the longest job I had was three and a half months. Yeah, so those seven jobs weren't long term at all. A very short term. This is actually the longest job you've ever had. I'm. I don't have a job. Number 10. All right, number 10 and the final question. Um, what was my first experience like on camera? Well, let me tell you, I was a little too excited <laughs> and totally just like ruined my career. I mean, not, not, not no, ruined, uh, but like it was the beginning. I, who, who guided me? Like, like I really went all out. I was doing, you know, threesome. Your first shoot? My first shoot I didn't. And you had three now? My second shoot, but this is like the same company. Mm -hmm. And I got like, not underpaid, but my rate only went up from there. But I was just like, so happy to be there. I was like, sign me up, sign me up for whatever y'all. And they did. <laughs> <laughs> but I kind of, I had a good time looking back on it. I'm like, Fuck you, I was definitely not taken advantage of, but just like, not properly guided and not given the best advice I could have like stretched things out <laughs> like made a more lengthy career I didn't I just like really just went for it because I wanted to that's what I was there to do but it was fun I showed up in Arizona it was for exploited college girls and I I I'm pretty sure we shot for like 10 hours straight. They got so much footage of me and uh, I had so much fun. Uh, I was not nervous. I was just like born for this. <laughs> born to be a star. Born to be a star. Uh, let's just say that my, my last shoot was the emotions were not there. Uh, it got old. But it was fun while it lasted. Now we're moving on to new things. Yeah, we're, we're moving on to different things. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this. If you're still here, this is my first video. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Subscribe. <gasps> subscribe yeah, to me. Down below. I will appreciate it. And um, 